So last time, I gave the Dakshina Kali Mantra, but I didn't explain it. So today, I want to explain it and also uh, announce or release an extended version of the mantra. Now, this mantra has had such impact. I mean, really, the energy released by this mantra is so powerful. It has transformed my whole life insofar, especially as my work. And I'm now looking at a very much expanded view of a project to catalog and organize these videos and bring out parallel podcasts and blogs. And, you know, the scope of the project has like quadrupled. <laughs> So I thought I had a lot to do before, but now it's just ridiculous. But along with this comes the energy to do it. So I'm not complaining. I think it's wonderful. And it's going to very much increase our reach and broaden the impact of these series. Oh, there's a beautiful yellow bird perched on my window. <laughs> what a good sign. Anyways... Let's look at this mantra. Aung, kring, 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 hung, hung, ring, ring. Dakshine kali ke. Kring, 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 hung, hung, ring, ring. Swaha. What a great mantra. <laughs> First of all, Aung. Well, we go into a deep explanation of Aung in this video a long past uh, from the Gayatri series. And there's also a good explanation in the Lakshmi Tantra series, because in Lakshmi Tantra, Aung is known as Tara and is a specific goddess with a, a very specific role in the Sri Vidya universe. So I'm not going to talk about Aum here, except to mention that all bona fide Vedic mantras begin with Aum. If it doesn't begin with Aum, then it's this very iffy kind of background to that mantra. I wouldn't mess with it. So then Kring. Kring is the characteristic bijakshara of Mother Kali. In, in uh, Lakshmi Tantra, it's mentioned that to arrive at the bija for a mantra, one takes the deity to whom the mantra is offered and take the first letter of that deity's name and turn it into a bija. So Kali begins with Ka, but Kang is already taken. <laughs> so we use Kring, huh? Kring. And this mantra contains the specific energy of goddess Kali. So you notice I, I pronounce her name Kali. That's to distinguish it from Kali. Because, for example, uh, the use of Kali in Kali Yuga. Kali means, in, in that context, simply means the fourth. But Kali comes from a different root. It comes from Kala, which means time. So she is the personification of time. And her bija mantra, Kring, also embodies the potency of time. This is why I think it's having such an impact on my work, because it's made me acutely aware of how time is passing and how little time we have here and how much 
we, we want to get accomplished in this life. So, you know, it's like, go for it. <laughs> Kring, you know. Time is passing quickly. Become the master of time, not the effect of time. And commit to a project that has ramifications that affect the welfare and well-being of every living creature on earth. Don't waste your time with selfish activities, but do something to please God and Goddess. This will be the best use of the limited time that we have. And then when we leave this body, we automatically will merge with them. We will go to their loka, to their world, uh, the God and Goddess, and be with them. And if we want to, we can even merge with them. You see, and this will be our destiny. So this is the advantage of this devotional service, this bhakti that we're offering to Mother Kali by chanting her mantra. So kring, you could just chant kring all by itself. It has such a rejuvenating effect. I'm 74 years old. And I, have, I have never had so much energy in my life. <laughs> so anyway, the next one is hum. Now who, who all by itself is the uh, one of the sound vibrations that affect the dantian or the energy storage chakra, the third, second chakra, according to the Chinese system anyway. So when we say hum, make it into a bija by adding the nasal ending. Hum directly addresses this energy center. It penetrates through the Brahma Granti. We discussed the Grantis in another video some time back. So if you didn't get it then, watch it now. So the Brahma Granti is the knot that keeps our energy repressed. We've often spoken that to attain enlightenment, one must have the full energy available. And the Brahma Granti is one of the mechanisms that keeps our full energy from being expressed. So by chanting this Bija Hung, we reach that chakra holding our energy back and we blast it open. <laughs> hung, hung. Uh, Osho Rajneesh used this technique in his dynamic meditation. And this released a tremendous amount of energy in his disciples. So they were able to accomplish amazing things in a very short time. And then finally, there's hring. Hring. What can I say about hring? Again, we talked about it in the Lakshmi Tantra series, but briefly, and also in the series on Mahashodashi Mantra. But basically, hring is the key to will and action and getting wishes accomplished. So if you want to get your wishes accomplished, chant hring. So now we have kring, 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 hung, hung, ring, ring. Why are they repeated? Well, in Sanskrit, to indicate an expanding series of things. Often a word will be repeated. Like for example, das das means servant of the servant, etc., etc., etc. Or to make the progressive tense of a verb. Sometimes the verb will be repeated. So in the same way, to make the effect of a bija ongoing, or to be active in the present, we will repeat it. So we we have these repetitions here. Kring, kring, kring. Hung, hung. Hring, hring. Huh? In other words, this isn't something far off uh, in the future 
uh, maybe when we go to heaven, you know, after death or something like that. This is happening right now, <laughs> right here and now. And Mother Kali is giving us the energy to achieve our dreams. So this is a very powerful mantra, and it certainly has had that effect on me. That's why I want to share it with everyone. And then there's Dakshine Kalike. That means unto the goddess at the right hand. Huh? Dakshina means on the right hand. And she is on the right hand of Mother Tripura Sundari. Mother Tripura Sundari, when prayed to by the demigods, went and attacked the demons, Shumba and Nishumba. But she didn't want to take the credit for killing them all by herself. So she emanated Mother Kali on her right hand. Uh, and so Mother Kali is the right hand of Goddess Tripura Sundari. Also, this refers to when you want to worship someone, you circumambulate them, keeping them on your right. Like when we go around Arunachala Hill, we call it Pradakshina. Pradakshina means that we circle around the hill to the right, keeping the hill always on our right. So Dakshine Kalike, oh, and Dakshina also refers to the southern slope, the southern face of a mountain. And she was born of the Himalayas personified on the southern face. Uh, that's how she appeared in this world. So there's all kinds of meanings here. Dakshine and da the ending A is the vocative case. So we are addressing her. Dakshine Kalike. Huh? And then we repeat the first part of the mantra again. Kring, 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 hung, hung, ring, ring. Swaha. Well, Swaha is also explained in Lakshmi Tantra, but briefly, because we're running out of time. <laughs> Swaha is the form of the goddess that we use when we're making an offering, an oblation into the sacred fire. Swaha off, uh, specifically addresses the goddess, the mother. And as Swadha, is a slightly different form of the same thing when we make an offering to the ancestors, to the Pitris. And so these two different kinds of offerings used in fire ceremonies, Swaha and Svadha. So here we're using Swaha because we're making an offering. What are we offering? Ourselves. So, the whole meaning of the mantra is, Aum, oh my goddess. <laughs> you of unparalleled energy, please grant my wish. Thou who appearest on the southern slopes of the mountain, who is the right hand of the mother goddess, Tripura Sundari, Please grant my wish, and I offer you my very self. Aung Tatsa, Aung Shakti, Aung.